together, things were all sunshine and rainbows. Libraries are critical resources in our communities because they are not only just a, a wealth of resources through their books, but there's so many other programs and offerings that libraries have. The Oakland Public Library has supported the community in a variety of disasters. Um, one of the most important, I think, was at the inception of COVID. The location I'm at, the 81st Avenue Library, was responsible for food distribution. So people came here and got meals at the beginning of the pandemic. Fairfax Library is located at the gateway to the San Geronimo Valley, which has challenges in terms of cell coverage, fire prone, flood prone, and also loses power quite frequently. So Fairfax Library is a hub for information, for coming in and charging your devices when, you, when your home is out of power. Uh, we have people come in who have uh, not only their phones and tablets, but also their medical devices who came in and charged during um, winter storm events and things like that. In a lot of ways, the Novato Library is already acting as a community resilience center for the residents of Novato. It's been activated in the past during public safety power shutoffs and the winter storms. The Bayron Resilient Libraries Network is a coalition of six participating libraries in the Bay Area. Bayron put together the pilot to basically help and um, support our local jurisdictions integrate energy efficiency and energy resilience into their local resilience planning. So we have six fantastic uh, sites that are participating in the pilot. Um, we have two uh, libraries in Marin County, one the Fairfax Branch Library and then the Novato Branch Library. We have two uh, participating library sites in the city of Oakland. And that's the 81st Avenue branch and the West Oakland branch. And then we also have a participating library in East Palo Alto, the East Palo Alto Library in San Mateo County. And finally, our Biblioteca Latinoamericana in the city of San Jose in Santa Clara County. Some of the upgrades that we can do with libraries through Bayran is really looking at the energy efficiency, incorporating then also that kind of health and that resiliency piece so we are looking at uh, things like the heating, ventilation systems, filtration, making sure that um, as people gather in these locations, the systems are operating properly and filtering out you know, in extreme weather events, if it's air pollution and, and things going on in the outside, that that's not affecting the inside. Our facilities range from 100 years old um, to 10 years old, and we have a, a large variety of facility needs that uh, require upgrades in order to maintain resiliency and be flexible during all kinds of growing uh, emergencies and needs. And so the support of Bayran and other opportunities in which we can build resiliency through our facilities uh, is going to help us be more nimble and responsive during disasters. And I'm really proud that they chose the city of Novato and uh, the county's library. Um, because of the fact that it will help the other, the community at large to know what improvements are being made at the library so that um, the community can be resilient and in and, and state of emergency, you'll be able to come down to the library. In Oakland right now, especially in some of our high needs areas, there are people who've been left behind for generations. And it's important that they have access to cooling centers, to uh, to food, as uh, libraries are often food hubs. It's important that we're able to shoulder the impact of climate change. I'm really excited that the pilot will provide an opportunity for residents to go to a place where they're already comfortable in their neighborhood, um, a place to find refuge from extreme heat events or a power shutoff, and a place where they can find some quiet space maybe some educational programming, um, opportunity to browse books and relax um, as they you know, prepare themselves for what's going on in the world around them.